Hey, this is Trick72. I was uh, watching a video from uh, Justin Mooley that he released a couple days ago about uh, what's going on in Haiti and the, uh, the UN peacekeepers, and I thought it was uh, pretty chilling. And, um, and I knew that Haiti was, uh, you know, a country that was a victim of uh, corruption for a long time, but I really didn't know the extent of what was going on and how um, the United States and France and other countries as well have been involved in the uh, politics of this thing. It's, uh, it's truly um, a very amazing and complex uh, situation. So, um, and it goes to show you what can happen uh, to a disarmed society. So the clip that Justin Woolley uh, referred to is a couple minutes long and it you know shows um, UN peacekeepers um, trying to hold back some uh, some protesters um, but as I did more research into it I found another uh, video that was an hour long um, that was a lot more gruesome and uh, it showed it's pretty graphic and it showed uh, multiple people uh, shot in the head protesters and the protesters say that the foreigners the you know the UN people with the uh, the blue helmets are the uh, the ones committing these atrocities and it's a uh, it's pretty chilling video and it makes me think that uh, uh, what happened in Ferguson uh, easily could have escalated into what happened in Haiti if we lived in a completely unarmed uh, society like they do and probably as you know President Obama gave Haiti I think uh, you know 30 billion dollars for, for the uh, earthquake relief and they absolutely had to know uh, how corrupt this country is right now and where the money would go and um, there's some uh, Wikipedia articles that uh, display uh, you know, allege some, you know, CIA involvement in the current government and, you know, a whole bunch of things that are very complex and interesting. So, um, yeah, so if you don't know, um, uh, the Haiti has been, again, a victim of uh, corrupt government for a long time, uh, most notably starting in the late 50s with the uh, Duvalier, if I'm pronouncing it right, family. And, uh, you know, the Duvalier family was a little bit, uh, if you know what I mean, and they were involved in lots of extracurricular activities. And uh, then along came this guy, uh, uh, John Burstrand Aristide, who won an election in uh, 1990. So he was a former Catholic priest, and um, and his politics were pretty far to the left. But he, you know, he wasn't a you know corrupt you know gangster. So and quickly in 1991, there was a uh, a coup, uh, military coup, and uh, Mr. Aristide was removed. Um, He was finally reinstated in, I believe, uh, in the mid 90s with the help of the US. And then he was uh, reelected again in uh, 2000. So, and then that's when it gets really interesting and goes into bizarro land territory so there's another coup in 2004 
uh, Aristide is removed again, um, allegedly involuntarily. Um, the U.S., uh, France, and other countries, uh, also the um, I believe people from Jamaica as well all get involved and they um, negotiate his exile to South Africa uh, via the Central African Republic. Um, again, it's very bizarre. Uh, President Aristide believes that uh, U.S. Special Forces removed him. Um, so there's allegations about the um, United States Marines and uh, again through my research I found a very interesting one hour video that I think uh, you should watch so um, I'll have to find it here again again yeah, it's um Okay, sorry about this, I lost the uh, the clip. It's called Haiti, We Must Kill the Bandits, and it's from Long Memory Productions, and I will put a link, link in there, and this is the other uh, video that shows the very uh, graphic pictures. I need to uh, watch it again. Um, trying to understand what's going on. It just really shows you what can go on in disarmed society. And if um, I'm sure most of my viewers are suspicious of the United Nations, but this should really confirm your uh, sus suspicions to how bad uh, the UN peacekeepers can be. So again, you have foreign troops. Uh, there's a lot of them from Brazil in other countries and obviously we have these military goons they from other countries they really don't care about the best interests of the country um, so again I encourage you to check out this uh, clip I think it's uh, check out Justin Mooley's clip and uh, this video from Long Memory Productions again I'm not trying to uh, plug or promote these channels I uh, if I was going to plug them, I'd, uh, I'd let you know that I'm plugging them. But, um, yeah, I definitely uh, want you to check this out. And um, I think it's uh, quite revealing of what the UN uh, peacekeepers are capable of. So, so uh, I'm going to watch the clip again myself. So, uh, if you watch it, uh, let me know what you think. All right, I'll catch you next time on Turkey 72.